It's without a doubt that mankind reigns supreme. We're on the top of the food chain. But there are organisms that can hurt us, and sometimes even completely destroy us. There are dangerous diseases and epidemics in this world. Today on Facts and Box, we'll take a look at some of the most dangerous viruses in history. Chinese Coronavirus You've surely heard of this new virus. It started in 2019 in the Chinese city of Wuhan. Experts believe that the virus has been transmitted from animals to humans. And it seems evident that the virus has only had the ability to manifest itself within humans for a very short amount of time. The coronavirus can cause acute respiratory syndrome, severe cases of which can be complicated by pneumonia or respiratory failure. This virus can be deadly. No cure has been developed quite yet. On January 20th of 2020, the transmission of the virus from person to person was confirmed in the Chinese province of Guangdong. This is the main source of transmission of the disease. On January 10th of 2020, a resident of Wuhan was feeling ill but still traveled to Shanghai on January 12th. On January 15th, she had fallen quite ill and went to the hospital. After six days, she was fully recovered and discharged. As of January 31st, 2020, 9,692 cases of the virus have been recorded, of which 7,736 were registered in China. The death toll is currently at 231. Dengue Virus Dengue fever is a dangerous viral disease that spreads very quickly in regions with a subtropical and tropical climate. Until the mid-20th century, it was called articular fever due to the main symptoms. In severe cases, mortality of the dengue virus is about 50%. The disease is characterized by fever, intoxication, myalgia, arthralgia, rash, and swollen lymph nodes. About 50 million people become infected with this virus each year. It's resistant to drying, freezing, sensitive to heat, ultraviolet radiation, and traditional medicine. The virus multiplies in the cytoplasm of affected cells. The virus circulates between monkeys, lemurs, bats, and other animals. In animals, the disease is asymptomatic. However, mosquitoes that drink their blood are dangerous for humans and for healthy mammals that are sensitive to the virus. This disease spreads through mosquitoes, that is, by vector-borne transmission. The most susceptible groups to contract the disease are children under two years old, pregnant women, elderly people, and tourists. Brazil and the Philippines are the leaders in the number of people infected with the dengue virus. As for European countries, in 2010 local transmission of the disease was registered in France and Croatia. The first signs of the disease are headache, rhinitis, and conjectivitis. Treatment for dengue fever focuses on reducing the severity of intoxication, accelerating recovery, and preventing complications. Rabies the rabies virus is a dangerous virus that causes rabies in humans and warm-blooded animals, in which a specific lesion of the central nervous system occurs. The disease is transmitted through the saliva of infected animals that often bite people. When infected with the virus, people usually get a temperature of about 37 degrees, and they have poor sleep. Human behavior also changes. People with rabies become aggressive, violent, hallucinate, have delusions, and have a feeling of paranoia. Not to mention paralysis of the eye muscles and lower extremities, paralytic respiratory disorders, and death. By the time people see rabies symptoms, it's oftentimes too late. There's already been damage in the brain, the edema, hemorrhaging, degradation of nerve cells, etc. Treatment is almost impossible by that time. Today, only three cases of human recovery without vaccination have been recorded. All the others ended in death. Rabies is a very old virus, having existed for over 1,500 years. Smallpox Smallpox was a complex virus and highly infectious to humans. This is one of the oldest diseases ever recorded, the symptoms of which are chills, pain in the sacrum and lower back, rapid fever, dizziness, headache, and vomiting. On the second day, a rash appears, which eventually turns into purulent vesicles. In the 20th century, this virus claimed the lives of 500 million people. About 198 million US dollars were spent on the smallpox campaign from 1967 to 1979. Fortunately, the last known case of infection was reported on October 26, 1977 in the Somali city of Mark. The smallpox virus evolved between 68 to 16,000 years ago. It was previously believed that smallpox has been known by mankind since ancient times. Various sources attributed its first appearances to Africa and Asia. 
However, according to genetic research, the human smallpox virus is close to the camelpox virus, which is why it's assumed that the virus started to infect camels in the Middle East. This began in the beginning of our era. The smallpox epidemic swept China for the first time in the 4th century, and in the middle of the 6th century, it hit Korea. In 737, more than 30% of the Japanese population died of smallpox. In 1807, Bavaria became the first country where vaccination was made mandatory for the population. In America, Asia, and Africa, smallpox persisted for almost 200 years after the invention of vaccination. George W. Bush ordered that all military personnel in the U.S. be vaccinated against smallpox after the whole anthrax thing became a trend. He thought someone could use smallpox as a biological weapon and wanted to be prepared. Plague This disease is described in the Bible, and history knows of many cases when whole cities and towns died because of the plague. At one time, the virus was even used as a biological weapon, infecting fleas, which in turn infected a large number of people. The disease infects the internal organs, leads to sepsis, and the person eventually dies. But at an early age, if a person is vaccinated, he can be protected from the disease. The plague spreads super fast and everyone is susceptible to it. Even if you've had the plague before, an immunity does not form. That is, there remains a risk of reinfection. For a long time, no one knew what caused the bubonic plague. The pathogen was discovered and associated with the disease only at the end of the 19th century. It turned out to be gram-negative bacterium bacillus. It turned out to be gram-negative bacterium from the family of enterobacteria, plague bacillus. The carriers of the bubonic plague were fleas and ticks and other carriers of blood. It started with fleas and ticks, then transferred to animals, then transferred to us. In ye olden days, when no cure for the infection had been invented, mortality was almost 100%. Now, these figures don't exceed 5 to 10%. At the same time, the number of people who have died from the plague in recent years is not alarming. In the 19th century, 5 million people died during a plague in Asia. Had you heard of all these diseases already? Are there any that we missed? Let us know in the comments below. We read every single comment we get. And make sure to subscribe and hit that bell so you're always notified about new videos as soon as they're uploaded. Quality videos are our standard, and we'll be coming out with more soon. Until next time on Facts in Box.